Hello friends, in this video, let's see about shift register. Shift register helps to pass data from current iteration to the next iteration in for loop and while loops. Now I have opened the previous VI which we did in our last video that is the example program of while loop. Next I am doing a right click on this while loop and I am adding shift register to this while loop by selecting add shift register. We can see the two terminals added on the left side and right side end of this while loop. Data enters the right side terminal and pass to the left side terminal on the next iteration of the loop. Now we are going to add value 1 to the data which we received from the previous iteration and carry the data to the next iteration. So first we have to place the addition function inside this while loop and then I am connecting the left side shift register terminal to one of the input terminal of add function and next to its another input terminal I am connecting a constant and giving value 1 in it. Then the output terminal of the add function is connected to the right side terminal of the shift register. So now if we run the program, one get added to the value from current iteration and this value get carried to the next iteration. We can check this by adding a indicator on the output terminal of this add function and I am making this indicator as an icon by clicking on view as icon. So now I am executing this program by clicking on run button. If we see the x plus y indicator on the front panel, we can note that the value is increasing on each iteration. That is the value 1 is getting added to the value from current iteration and this value is carried to the next iteration. And now I am stopping the program execution. Since this shift register is an uninitialized shift register, if we run this program again, the final value which gets stored when we stop this program will be carried and this value will be considered as the initial value. So while executing this program again, if we note the indicators on the front panel, the number of iteration will start increasing from 0, but the value on the x plus y indicator starts increasing from the value carried when we previously stopped the program. But if we initialize the shift register with the value, this initialized value will be considered as the initial value whenever we execute this program. So now I am initializing the shift register by connecting a constant to the left side terminal of the shift register and giving the value 0 in it. So whenever we execute this program, 0 will be considered as the initial value. Now I am executing this program. We can see that on x plus y indicator, the value starts increasing from initial value. Now if I stop the program and again if I run this program, 0 will be considered as the initial value. That is, on the x plus y indicator, the value again started increasing from 0 itself. Now I am stopping the program execution. And the left side terminal of the shift register can be dropped down as many times as we require. Each downshift can show the values from previous previous iterations. Each drop down shift register should be initialized or otherwise the error will occur. And to the other terminal of this drop down shift register, we can connect the indicator to see the values from previous previous iterations. I am making this indicator as an icon by doing a right click on this indicator and selecting view as icon. Now I am executing this program. If we see the indicators on the front panel, the difference between the value on the x plus y indicator and the numeric 2 indicator is 2 because the value on the numeric 2 indicator is the initial value of the previous iteration. The value 1 get added during previous iteration and another 1 get added in the current iteration. So on the x plus y indicator, the value get increased by 2 than the numeric 2 indicator. This program will be continuously executing till we press the stop button or till the condition given to the stop button gets satisfied. That is when the value from the gauge crosses the value 5, the program execution will get stopped. So now I am moving the pointer on the gauge beyond the value 5, the program execution is getting stopped. So in this video we have seen about shift register. 
in our next video we can continue with another topic thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you